to understand the basic principles of life metric disciplines that can help you create a more fulfilling life, we have to dig into physics first. 19th century physicists believed ether is an empty space with no energy and no effect. It is just there and light travels through it. Einstein described the appearance of a constant speed of light with a four-dimensional space-time model, which is a good mathematical trick to describe the phenomenon, but not to explain it physically. Nikola Tesla was the first advocate who claimed that everything that exists in space, including light, is a vibration of the ether. He claimed and proved ether is not an empty space, but it is full of energy. He was not in favor of the idea that time is the fourth dimension of space. Time is just a numerical sequence of changes in the ether, measured by hours. In the ether, there exists only one reality, now. Let's dig a bit deeper to understand why this is important. Scientifically, you are most likely 60% water. Almost 96% of your body is formed by basic elements, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. These are the basic building blocks of the universe. They make up your body organs and even your emotions. They are formed with atoms. If you break the structure of an atom to its smallest particle, you would not see anything at all. You would find a physical gap. That is ether. The smallest particle of our physical world consists of invisible energy, not of tangible material. As you are part of nature, you are susceptible to changes in surroundings. They affect you. You feel better on sunny days. You are more productive, happier. Tasks are made with ease. It is known that the energy of the moon, the gravitation, raises sea level two times per day in the tidal range up to 16 meters. And remember, you are 60% water yourself. No wonder you feel different at those times. You and everything you see around you is a perfect formation of basic elements glued together and intertwined with energies. Carl Gustav Jung, a prominent psychologist, developed a theory of coincidences on the basis of analysis of his patients' reports, his own experiences, and the study of Chinese philosophy. He called it synchronicity, the reasonable connection between the seemingly non-linked phenomena. What people call coincidence, or a case, Jung understands as the simultaneity of a particular psychic state, with one or more external events that appear as meaningful parallels. With the theory of connection and intertwining of even illogical phenomena, he confirms that everything in the world has its purpose. Tesla said it best, the human being is a self-propelled automation entirely under the control of external influences. Willful and predetermined though they appear, his actions are governed not from within, but from without. He is like a float tossed about the waves of a turbulent sea. Quantum physicists are more or less unified that material reality is part of the same consciousness. Everything that exists is interconnected. Everything from atoms, molecules and cells to solid matter. No matter at what level and in which quantum reality it manifests itself. The human mind works according to quantum processes. Thoughts, feelings, and all other higher cognitive functions are associated with quantum information that simultaneously pulses through your body. Your awareness is a consequence of the relationship between the data particles of our brain and the sea of quantum energy. You are a huge quantum field, and everything is interconnected with a kind of invisible net. You have your own resonance frequency, on this basis, you get along with others or not. We say that we are on the same wavelength. The resonance of your vibrations is related to your consciousness. The higher your individual resonance, the higher the degree of your consciousness. Dr. Hawkins studied the emotional states of humans and their influence on physical and psychological performance. He linked emotions to frequencies and shaped the scale of human consciousness. Any frequency lower than 200 Hertz weakens the body. According to him, the lowest vibration is humility, followed by guilt, indifference, sadness, fear, desire, anger, pride, courage, neutrality, diligence, acceptance, reasonableness, love, joy, peace, compassion, and enlightenment. Therefore, what you feel 
How you act and react affects your reality and the reality of others. It is not just your thing. You emit a unique energetic signature and vibration with your thoughts and deeds. This is a fact that quantum mechanics constantly confirms. And the question you probably ask yourself now is, what should I do with these facts? This is a scientific proof. What you call intuition is not just a part of your imagination. You know the feeling. You're thinking about somebody and in the next second, the phone rings. Or you meet a person you haven't seen for a decade, but they appeared in your dreams not long ago. And when you have a bad feeling about doing something or going somewhere, and then you realize it was a good call not to go. It is because we are all connected. Nothing is a coincidence. And if you know how these energies and vibrations flow in this gigantic network, you can also calculate and predict how they affect you as an individual at a specific time in the future. You can learn to recognize messages from nature. You can develop a life intuition and start changing your patterns and behaviors that don't work in your favor. It may sound difficult, but today we have the tools developed by great minds in the past, and they can save you a great deal of time and money by bringing your life to a completely new level. The science of predictive analytics provides you with staggering tools, techniques, and methods for four life fundamentals, time, health, social relations, and finances. It is all about being in the right place at the right time. We can help you with that.